By definition, the style of music is called full. This means all instruments playing at full volume. But by clicking on the first segment and going over to the Properties menu, we take advantage of mood mapping. These are all the different instruments. Think of them as you have control over the mix of the music. So, if, for instance, I wanted to play this and I didn't want any drums, you could grab the drum slider and slag it all the way to the bottom. No drums. Well, this level of customization is neat, but sometimes tricky, so to solve the problem instead, Smart Sound has gone through and done a whole bunch of premixes for you. I want to have a light feeling. Well, here, it's better than I can describe it. And then I want to do a transition, but this defaults to a two-second transition. I'm going to make this shorter so the music makes a faster transition. Click on the next segment, and I want this to be a dialogue segment. This pulls the volume of everything down so it doesn't conflict with my speaker. This year was the first year that the U.S. team... Again, don't worry about the final mix. We'll do the final volume adjustments inside Final Cut. And again, I need a fast transition into the action, so I'll change the transition speed which affects this transition from the highlighted segment to the next one and there I absolutely want to be full volume but at the end of the full volume segment I want this also to be a fast transition and go into something lighter and so we'll say let's go to light now let's take a listen to it and see what it sounds like This year was the first year that the U.S. team... Well, the bass is getting a little bit in the way here. It's still a bit heavy. So I'll select my dialogue track and take my bass down just a little bit. Won a gold medal, and four out of the five members were all brought up using their weight tricks now. Okay, now we're starting to get somewhere. We've got our instrumentation changing. In fact, we can even do a custom instrumentation change by grabbing the slider and dragging it but the music themes are not yet hitting on the beat that I want. So I'm going to go over and select the music, and by clicking on the music, a new checkbox appears called Timing Control. I click on Timing Control, and these are the different beats in the music. I'm going to grab this one and drag it so it starts right at the point that that full starts, which makes a major change in the music. And we'll do another major change down here. This means that my music style is going to change at each of these key points. Let's take a listen and watch the whole thing all the way through. This year was the first year that the U.S. team won a gold medal, and four out of the five members were all brought up using their weight tricks now. That's darn near perfect. So let's send this back over to Final Cut. Now, in other applications, you'd have to export the file or save the file or do something special to it. But this is very cool. Watch this. We go up to the File menu, and we go down to Send to Final Cut Pro. Well, it already knows what project and what sequence you want to use. So all it does now is saves your new piece of music. We switch back to Final Cut. The music has been added already into the browser. We then grab the music, drag it down to the timeline, and let's watch what happens. This year was the first year that the U.S. team won a gold medal, and four out of the five members were all brought up using the Wake Tricks method. Oh dear, now we've got a problem. This full music is so loud, look what it's done to our VU meters. That's a shade hot. In fact, that's too hot. In fact, that would get us all fired, and that would be a bad thing. So what we want to do now is we want to be able to adjust this mix once it's been made. To do that, highlight the clip and control-click on it.
and when you control click on it there's a choice at the top called open in editor when you select open an editor it automatically opens the file back up into Sonic Fire Pro 5. If open an editor doesn't work the way you expect, for instance it opens your audio in QuickTime, you need to change one of the preference settings inside Final Cut. To do that, go up to Final Cut Pro, go down to System Settings, click on External Editors, and make sure that Audio Files is set to open Sonic Fire Pro. To do this, click the Set button, click on the Applications folder, Scroll down until you get to Sonic Fire Pro 5 and open that folder and select the Sonic Fire Pro 5 application. Then click the OK button at the bottom. Whenever you take an audio file and select Open in Editor, it will automatically open inside Sonic Fire Pro 5. And let's take advantage of one more feature, and that is click the Envelope button. This is just like envelopes, the red rubber bands inside Final Cut or the envelopes inside Soundtrack Pro. We're going to set a keyframe. Double click directly on it. Double click to set a second keyframe and let's just drag this down a bit. Now I'll add some keyframes at the end. I took it down to about 6 dB and then double click to set a new keyframe. You need to double click and then let go of your mouse and then grab the keyframe and drag it so that now when I play it, using the, weight the volume and the, and the sound change but it doesn't get to be quite so loud. So let's go back to Final Cut. Again, all we have to do is to send it to Final Cut Pro. It automatically saves the file. I switch back to Final Cut the file itself is updated instantly. I don't have to import it. I don't have to do anything. Now when I play it... Members were all brought up using the weight trick method. Notice that my volume levels are now exactly where I want them to be. Very cool. If I move too quickly in some of these techniques, we have lots of tutorials on the Smart Sound site that you can follow to learn more about how to do what I just illustrated. My name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for watching.